Let's now turn our attention to the Points and Faces tool here inside of 3D Coats Retopo Workspace. If you left mouse click anywhere on the surface, 3D Coat will snap a point, as the name implies, to that surface. And I'm going to click four times. And as I hover inside of these four points, you'll see a preview of a polygon. At any point in time, you can just right click to create that polygon. If you want to continue building from that polygon, you can click twice to create two more points. And 3D Cut will use the vertices from this polygon as points. So I can just hover in this area to create a polygon, or I could continue clicking to plot out my topology. And then go back and fill these in later on. You can also go back and adjust these before you commit them to polygons by hovering over them and right clicking to reposition them. So once done, again just right click and just continue doing this. If you have a gap between polygons, you don't have to lay down any points at all. 3D Coat is going to use the vertices as the requisite points it needs. All right, so let me go ahead and select all the faces on that layer by clicking this little icon, and I'll just hit the delete key to remove those. I want to quickly point out that when you first start off, if you don't have any polygons at all, if you try to lay down just three points, you won't be able to create a triangle, even though you can create triangles with this tool. I should also note that this tool will not create ingons, just tries and quads only. So let me go ahead and create this fourth point. Another thing I wanted to point out is you can quickly remove these if you need by just hovering over them and when they're highlighted white, you can hit the delete key. So yeah, we have four points here. If I want to create a triangle, instead of hovering toward the center, let me zoom in a little bit. Instead of hovering in the center, you may want to go toward the point that you want to use as an anchor. All right, right click and it will create a triangle. Same thing here. And I can create just one point here if I want to create a triangle. So you just continue building on that if you want. You can also reposition vertices even after you've already created the geometry by right clicking over the vertice and dragging. While you're at it, if at any point in time you want to weld vertices together, you can right click and drag just like you would to reposition the vertice, but instead drag it over the vertice that you want to actually weld it to. You'll see a red dot highlighted indicating that 3D Coat will now weld this once you release your cursor. So let's do that here. And there you go. Now, unlike the Add and Split tool, you cannot hover over edges and move them or delete them. However, we do have some options here in the toolbar for using keystroke modifiers, such as the Control key and the Control shift keyboard combination. There's a drop list menu here that you can choose from, and you have an identical menu for the control shift modifiers. Okay, So what this allows you to do is quickly switch while the points and faces tool is still active you can quickly switch to another tool. So let me first go back and create these and let's try with the control key let's choose delete edges. Now as I press down the control key, I can hover over a highlighted edge and just left mouse click to delete it. Now we can switch it to something different here with split rings. Let's try that. So with control shift, while I'm building, if I want to quickly add maybe some reinforcing edge loops along the edges or something, let me just go ahead and create these real quick. So yeah, I can hold down Control Shift, and once I see a edge loop preview that I like, I just have to left mouse click to create it. 
when I'm done, I release the hotkeys and I'm right back into the standard points and faces mode. Let me undo a few times here. Oftentimes, you want to go back and fill these in with polygons, obviously, and you want to try and do it as rapidly as possible. However, you may find yourself accidentally creating a triangle from time to time. That can be a little bit annoying. You have to stop what you're doing and uh, clean that up. So one way to remedy that is to check quads only right here in the toolbar. And let's go ahead and create these again. So I just quickly right click. And I know that I won't be creating any triangles accidentally. And with that, we'll bring this look at the points and faces tool to a conclusion. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.